Hello, my friends from modelpilot.ecouniform. Now, by my side is the um, developer inside the, um, for the TX, the, the new receiver is Pascal Choquet. And uh, he's very proud about this product because uh, in the last uh, year we get uh, 2014 now yeah. and uh, before um, uh, Weihnachten, <laughs> before Christmas, uh, 550 premium uh, sender go out. Yes, yes. Uh, last year in December we, we delivered the 555 limited edition radios, very special radios. Uh, to the market, and uh, but now in January we also deliver the rest, the the 9, 12, and 16 channel version of the radio, all over the world, all over the world. Sure. Yes. <laughs> and um, this nice uh, transmitter, we get a special um, antenna. Yeah, you you see on the radio directly. There's no antenna outside. Yeah, okay. um, the reason for that is not only the the, the optical things. It's only it, it's also a technical issue because um, these antenna what we have internal it's uh, optimized for the for the model planes application. That means we have uh, have the field of the of the antenna before the pilot, and this is uh, is an optimized antenna for for model planes. Oh, it's a nice feature. Uh, some features more? Yeah, we have a, a LiFi battery inside. Uh, with a with a current counter, and you, so you see in hours and minutes how long the radio can work. Okay. And uh, if the battery is full, it's around about thirty uh, yeah thirty hours. I um, I feel this vibration inside. What what what's it? Um oh yeah, this is uh, the uh, vibration alarm that uh, if a telemetric alarm occurs or if the radio is empty, the battery, uh, then you have also the possibility to say, okay, I want to feel this with this uh, vibration alarm, the same as your mobile phone. Okay, and you can configure it by yourself? Yeah, you can, you can adjust it if you want to have this only for telemetric alarms or only for other things. Okay. You, the user can set it up. Okay, only in the transmitter? Yeah. Okay, perfect, perfect. And uh, this is a nice feature as well. Uh, you, you can... Uh, choose it from down? Yeah, from up downside. and down. Normally this radio is a tray type <laughs> radio. Mm -hmm. So uh, so it's only the need to, to make it from the from the upper side. But uh, in the past we recognized that some pilots also use this radio as a handheld radio. And so you have the possibility to use it with one finger on the lower side. It's much, much easier. Okay. And so it's, uh, we do it like that. Okay. Um, so, we will see you the next time on the, our videos on Model Pilot like Uniform much more about the, uh, how to uh, choose and how to configure. And thank you very much to being here. And now you will show us something about the um, configuration inside the model. Okay, yes. here we okay. go. Okay, thank you. Mr. Shoki, now we see the uh, receivers and uh, tell, tell us something about that. Okay, we, uh, we think if you are a Profi TX user, that's normal that you have uh, huge planes and if you want to have a huge plane then you keep on safety things in this uh, huge planes and so we have this uh, safety switch twin butt with the possibility to connect two batteries so if uh, one battery fail you have the second one okay. uh, this safety switch twin butt is uh, also electrical switch um, this means you can switch on off the plane. That's uh, not the, the most important thing, but the important thing, if you have a, this switch is secured electronically. Okay, so okay. if the switch breaks, in any case, nothing happened because you remember the last state of the okay, switch. If it's on, it's on. Yeah, it's and on. If, it, if this one gets a failure, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, oh, okay, don't care perfect. about that. And uh, you have also the possibility with the safety switch twin buds to connect our voltage sensor. Okay. So you can measure the voltage of both batteries. And uh, uh, the best solution could be if you adjust the alarm limit for the battery. Oh. And then if anything happens in the air, you get an alarm on your radio and see, okay, one battery is empty or one battery have a failure. And uh, you can start landing and, uh, and 
and solve the problem without uh, having any crash. Oh, I know what you mean. And there's other uh, sensors here. Uh, I've heard you get a sensor bus. Yeah, uh, our s s sensor system is a bus system. So you connect sensor by sensor in a <coughs> row um, and uh, can, uh, can adjust the sensors for, for every model application. Mm -hmm. For example, in a glider, in a, in a huge glider, you have this voltage sensor. Then you need also a variometer and a height sensor. Um, if you have an engine driven model, maybe a temperature sensor is more important than yeah. a variometer and so on. We also have this uh, flight recorder with the possibility to lock all the data on this uh, sensor bus. And look later on Google Earth or so, um, what happened during my flight or you have the chance to optimize your setup. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, let's go to the setup here. Uh, you get two receivers right over there. Tell me something about that diversity. Yeah, um, normally one of all of our receivers have two antenna that and two receivers inside. That means we have already diversity. Yeah, it's okay. But if you have a very huge plane um, and you want to build up um, a double system for, for safety reasons, then you take another receiver and connect it via this cable. Okay. And then you have the possibility if one receiver fails or have have no reception, I can simulate this with this, uh, you see the red light, there's no reception, then uh, the servos on both receivers works already because uh, this receiver takes the information from the other one. Okay. So if we disconnect the cable, you see the servo standing still. Okay. Uh -huh. And um, during the failure, I think if you put it off, oh, I see. And now it works again. We can, we can uh, make a failure on the another one. Yes, it's the okay. same. Now this receiver takes the data from this receiver. Okay. But disconnected again, I see this receiver is working and this is not. Perfect. And now all, all is running. All yeah. system is running. And now both of them get the... Uh, have a good reception and uh, they are working both. Okay. Um, it's a special, um, if you get in a jet, I think, mm -hmm. with a turbine inside or, with, uh, or a model with uh, big echo packs yeah. and um, CFK inside yeah. with the carbon, um, you get two receivers on the right, on the, on the left side, storyboard and backboard. Yeah, yeah, so you have the possibility to avoid the, the a bad reception because of big metal parts or big carbon parts. Yeah, you have the chance to put four antennas to the plane. Okay, what we learn is we get the switch, the sensor bus, the uh, two similar uh, echoes, uh, lipos you, you switch on, the two receivers where the, um, the current goes inside, and um, the diversity with double diversity receivers. Yes. Yes, it's a very safety system. Yeah. Yes, very safety. And um, so, thank you very much for the introducing that incredible configuration. <laughs> thank you very much. Okay.